The Israelis continue their slaughter in Gaza every day, and now they're on a rampage in the West Bank. And who is providing the vast majority of those weapons? It is the United States. In fact, the Israeli government just said that the U.S. had sent over 50,000 tons of weapons in the last 10 months, and that is the equivalent of two shipments of weapons every single day. Now, according to the U.S. Export Control Act, the U.S. shouldn't be sending any weapons to Israel. Why? Because they're using them against civilians. Israel is using starvation as a weapon of war, and Israel is denying the people of Gaza access to water, electricity, and medicines. But in addition to the weapons we've already sent, the Pentagon recently announced to Congress that it was authorizing the sale of $20 billion, billion of weapons to Israel, which will commit the U.S. to supporting the Israeli military for years to come, no matter who is in the White House. Now, there is a way to voice disapproval in the Senate, and that's why we need somebody like Bernie Sanders or Jeff Merkley from Oregon or Chris Van Hollen from Maryland. These are senators who have voiced disapproval, but we need them to introduce that resolution so that we can get other senators, pressure them to sign on to that. Even Republicans like Rand Paul should be doing that. So if you're a US citizen, please call the offices. Bernie Sanders, let's start there. Ask him to please introduce a joint resolution of disapproval so that we can say that we have representatives in this country who recognize how disgusting it is that we continue to send weapons to this genocidal regime in Israel, and we're gonna do something to try to stop it.